were heavily criticized for holding protective equipment and later vaccines during the pandemic, with some African leaders saying the slow pace of donations could lead to vaccine apartheid. Right, let's see what is uh, trending today. And Asha Fox, she's here with me. Asha, good to see you. Nice to see you too, Deval. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Right, you, I just want us to talk about a raft of issues uh, briefly before we wind up the show because, yes, uh, looking on sports, we are getting into the weekend and mm -hmm. Fast and Furious is on the table. There is an, an issue with Michael Rassi, who is replaced as F1 new leader. So how is that uh, panning out? Yeah, um, this, this is a very big story for the um, Formula One um, world and the fans as well. Mm -hmm. The those who are happy about it, the those who are not so happy about it. So um, this comes from the background of last year, there was a big race, Abu Dhabi um, Grand Prix, which was the final race in the Formula One um, circuit last year. Mm -hmm. And it said that, you know, he made some interventions um, that gave Red Bull team mm -hmm. um, the win. That's Max Verstappen ended up beating Lewis Hamilton, which ended up um, taking away his uh, eighth title from him. Mm -hmm. And it was just a big deal. So it's been a um, conversation um, with guys from the Mercedes team who are supporting Lewis Hamilton and guys from the Red Bull team who are supporting um, Max Verstappen, who are also, you know, just clashing a lot about this was if I write in what they did because basically um, it's an ongoing argument mm -hmm. was it right for him to have um, intervened and basically allowed um, uh, Verstappen to win it's two sided it depends on which side of it you're looking at because mm -hmm. Red Bull team is like yeah he um, uh, Verstappen won um, fair and square mm -hmm. but yeah so Michael Massey has been trending yesterday because he's been you know uh, replaced as a Formula One race director, and that's after FIA went and reviewed the Abu Dhabi uh, Grand Prix uh, finale, and um, they've not really given a reason. So it's like we are sorry, but also we are not sorry. We are not going to give any reason why we are demoting this person, but we are we're just going to. We're also not sacking him. Mm -hmm. We're just taking him out of the FIA. Um, that's director role that he had, and then we're going to give him a different job still within the FIA. Mm -hmm. But they've also come up with different rules as well. I think just to make racing fair um, this season, which is starting on March 20th. And they have Nils Wittich and Eduardo Freitas. These two are going to be alternating as the F1 race directors. I think they're just trying to remove any um, bias. And then they also have a virtual control, virtual race control uh, room has been created. So it's like the VR that we have in um, um, uh, football mm -hmm. and then we also have the direct communication between um, teams and race directors mm -hmm. has also been removed so Asha folks so how come this is happening uh, right uh, in the middle of finale um, it's just the race is about to start so there's excitement the new season is starting on March 20th and mm -hmm. there's a lot of excitement around that so I think just events leading up to the beginning of the race um, that's something that guys are looking forward to and then of course there's a new craze that led Kenyans into Formula One basically there's a Netflix documentary mm -hmm. that normally happens called Drive to Survive that's also being launched on March of um, on 11th of March this year uh, just nine days to the race so guys are also looking forward to that and obviously just you know review of the past trace i think it's a way of putting this behind us mm -hmm. so that we can move forward as focus on the um new season that's about to begin so your team mark uh, or your team ferrari i uh, <laughs> I, I will admit i am team uh, mercedes i am for lewis hamilton and we are happy <laughs> <laughs> all right okay we shall be keeping our eyes peeled on that over the weekend to see the development without uh, the director uh, michael rassi let's now take the conversation to of course now the f beautiful game over the weekend what's happening well uh we have yesterday actually before we get to the weekend yesterday we had um eight matches mm -hmm. happening in the europa league yes. and the big one was barcelona versus napoli which ended in uh draw mm -hmm. one one and then this coming weekend we have 10 matches um on the apl and kenya's love football so i think this is a um, big weekend for them we have eight um matches on saturday we have two on sat or two on sunday and the biggest one um 
this weekend to look forward to is probably the Man City versus Tottenham, which will be tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. And this is a big one because Man City is fighting to extend their lead and um, Tottenham is also fighting for the top four position in this uh, match this weekend. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, uh, also trending has been uh, uh, Tinulisu and the president of Tanzania. This is another handshake people are saying is happening in Tanzania as well. Tell us more about that. What are people saying online? Yeah, it's just, you know, Kenyans are happy to see this. They're wondering, is this also the, is this a similar situation like we had with Raila and uh, Uhuru? Is this the Tanzanian handshake um, happening right now? Mm. Um, uh, Tanzanian President Samia Sulu, who went and visited um, exiled um, uh, opposition leader Tundulisu in Belgium. He's been in Belgium since uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. He came in in 2020 for the election and he lost and there were protests and he fled again back to Belgium saying that you know there were threats to his life and um, um, yeah so mm -hmm. he's been in Belgium this entire time and as usual with politics. There are those who love him, there are those who hate him. And it's just interesting to see that Samia went and visited him mm -hmm. and they had the handshake in front of the cameras like Uhuru and Raila did. So it's just Kenyans equating this situation to what we have in Kenya. Of course, we didn't have the whole exile situation uh, with the opposition leader, but it's interesting to see. All right, uh, I'll be remiss if we don't close uh, the show without talking about uh, Esther Pasaris and uh, the beach gear what was that all noise or also on social media um yeah so um this this is an interesting issue um esther Pasaris posted a photo of her in beach she, so she's basically facing the beach and a photo of her has been taken from the back she's in um beach when we're um well covered mm -hmm. and she's just giving a tribute to her dad who died um, some time back and she's just saying you know how much she misses about the dad and the things that she misses um, the dad and just paying tribute to him and guys are saying that um, you know mm -hmm. yeah see that's uh, that's the photo and guys are saying um, it's not appropriate mm -hmm. what does the beach wear have to do with the with the posts that she's put up mm -hmm. and um, you know, is it a clickbait? Do you just want us to see this? We have uh, camps that are pitting that, um, looking at it that way. And then we also have other guys who are coming in and saying, you know, you cannot tell people how to moon. Because we had people coming in and saying, it would have been better if you were spreading the ashes. Mm -hmm. You know, it would have been better if you had done this. And others are coming in and saying, you cannot tell people how to moon. If that's mm -hmm. how she's chosen to do it, if that's how she's chosen to do her tribute, she has every right to do it as she's done. Yes, indeed, uh, of course. She has got all the rights to mourn and remember her dad as well, regardless of what uh, Kenyans are saying on Twitter. All right, thank you, Asha Fox, also for taking us through that as well. Thank you for your valid company. You've been watching uh, News Diaries. And of course, oh, during the day, we shall give you more comprehensive news on the developing stories. Keep your eyes peeled here on KTN News, where we get the whole story. Have a good day.